Hi, I'm Tim York, President of Marcon Cooperative, the food service industry's premier source of fresh fruits and vegetables. Since 1985, we've been committed to our customer success through providing a produce program with unmatched quality and service. And part of our commitment is the dedication to delivering confidence in every case of fresh produce that you receive from Marcon. So what does confidence in every case mean? And what can you expect when you receive produce from Marcon? Well, let's just say there's a lot more packed into our cases than fruits and vegetables. Let me explain. Because Marcon has been in business for three decades, we've built and grown many long-standing relationships throughout the supply chain. That includes growers, harvesting and transportation companies, processors, food safety experts, and of course, food service customers like you. These are partners in the true sense of the word with whom we build long-term strategic relationships. The combined effort of this industry linkage is the first thing that goes into Marcon cases. Our boots in the field inspectors also play a critical role in the appearance, quality, and yield of what you receive. Marcon's team is out there daily, walking the fields and meeting with growers to ensure that our high standards are upheld and constantly met. So count their knowledge and vigilant inspections as an ingredients that go into our cases too. Food safety is no small matter. In today's world, keeping customers safe from bacteria and harmful pathogens is a full-time job. That's why Marcon not only employs an in-house food safety department, but also works closely with respective food safety experts that assist us in monitoring safety in fields, processing and handling, during transportation, all the way up to the doors of operators' kitchens. We employ regular mock recalls and have full traceback capabilities, which means our brands can be traced back to the correct date, field, and specific lot of harvest, reducing recall time and preventing more people from exposure. And because we know food safety is important for all growers, not just the larger ones, we also offer training programs and a broad range of educational tools to help close any gaps, whether product is sourced locally, regionally, or from halfway around the world. Food safety? Check. Into the case it goes. Another not so obvious ingredient that is included in all mark on cases is our reliability. From the fields to the processing and packing facilities, then onto trucks, Marcon maintains tight schedules that ensure you receive high quality product with a maximum shelf life. And because we have distribution centers throughout the U.S. and Canada, we can reduce shipping distances and deliver product where and when you need it. Marcon member distributors are independently owned and can respond directly to the needs of their customers and their employees. We understand that whenever you give, it comes back tenfold, so we take every opportunity to use the power of produce to help our local communities and beyond. When you order Marcon, you can be confident you are backing hardworking, honest people. Every person employed by our distributors is committed to meeting and exceeding your expectations, as well as listening to your input to fulfill any new needs that may arise. We believe in collaboration and cooperation. It's at our core, and that's why we work hand in hand throughout the supply chain to ensure that your produce is grown, harvested, packaged, and distributed in a way that helps to set future industry standards. So there you have it, confidence in every case. As you've seen, Marcon takes an active role in every step of the journey that fresh produce takes from seed to plate and that's the real meaning behind confidence in every case. Yes, we pack the most delicious, highest quality fresh fruits and vegetables and ship them to your door. But when you open that case, it's filled with all of the hard work and dedication of a caring team working together. Thank you for joining us. But uh, there's more rain in the forecast in the upcoming days and that's definitely going to affect us uh, 
for the next week or so, especially Valentine's Day coming. But we'll keep reporting on what we see and keep you updated. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, right, so this is Blake Aaron with Markon. We're here in Yuma, Arizona. We're seeing yet another example of the insane weather conditions we've been receiving all season. Today's been the third consecutive day of light lettuce ice. As you can see, it's not very widespread. And over the next few weeks, we're not going to see, expecting to see any really heavy blister or epidermal peel. This will hold off crews one or two hours for today. And when the sun fully comes up, this will thaw out and the crews will be able to begin harvest. On a positive note, these cold, wet, icy conditions will hold off the mildew pressure this area has been receiving steadily for the last few weeks. Please stay tuned for any further updates. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Blake Anderson with Markon. We bring you updates all season about the erratic weather we've been having in this area. Yesterday we brought you an update about frost. Today we're getting 30 to 40 mile per hour winds. And as you can see in the background, the crews are having a difficult time keeping the boxes steady and making sure they're not flying around and causing uh, safety issues out here in the field. For the field conditions themselves, we are seeing much more fringe burn out here in the heads. As you can see, we're seeing it throughout the fields, mostly with the romaine and green leaf items. With the iceberg items, we're really able to trim down the heads. But with these high winds, we are seeing more dirt at the core. And we're seeing high fringe burn and wind burn out here at the tips. For the end user, we really recommend topping and tail on the head, get rid of the core, and get rid of the tips. And as you can see, the meat of the head still has really nice quality, and this is where we see the bulk of your product. We'll continue to bring you updates on further weather conditions as the season progresses. Please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Matt Collins with Marcon, here to tell you about our newest product available to you right now. Ready, Set, Serve Collie Creations, available in a six by one pound pack size. Cauliflower's popularity is on the rise with 64% of consumers looking for healthier alternatives in their diet. The rice-like crumbles of Collie Creations is a nutritious, low carb, gluten-free product that is a great substitution for high calorie and high carbohydrate recipes. This is an all natural, no additives, no preservative product and is 100% usable right out of the bag. So you can count on consistent yields and consistent food costs. It is also backed by Marcon's five star food safety program, giving your customer the confidence they are looking for in the fresh produce they serve. For more tips on how to use, store and handle these exciting new items, as well as delicious recipes, please check out Marcon.com or download our convenient Marcon Produce app for more information. Please stay tuned for a short video on how this item is processed. Thanks for watching. Boots in the Field is one of the many things that makes Marcon unique and allows us to offer you the highest quality fresh produce program. Let's go take a look and see what our inspectors do on a daily basis. My name is Sean Galvez. I'm the Quality Assurance Director for Marcon and I've been working with Marcon since the fall of 2000. I'm Blake Anderson and I'm the Senior Field Inspector for Marcon Cooperative. My name is Erica Sanchez. I am the Assistant Quality Assurance Director for Marcon. Once we arrive at a 
field that is going to be a pre-harvest inspection. If there's any potential in a certain area that might be a higher risk for any kind of food safety hazards, the immediate decision is to apply appropriate buffers, call the supervisor that's responsible for that field and alert them to what we may have found. We will be walking this field, zigzagging our way through it. We're going to be looking at the texture and the color of the product to make sure it's going to be vibrant, have good quality and shelf life on the date that it's going to be packed, as well as looking for any kind of pests or anything else that might be damaging the product and cause any kind of quality concerns for our customers. There's an area of product that hasn't been harvested, so we'll walk towards the machine so that allows us to see the field for tomorrow, that nothing's changed. And then as we're walking to the field, we're double checking, make sure that all the boxes, cartons have the trace back sticker, which is really important. We make sure that the crew and the employees have all their required gloves, hair nets, before we bring down a box and we inspect it and make sure that you know everything that we have set on our spec is there for us to review. Marcon inspectors work very hard to build a relationship with everybody we work with out here in the field. And with that relationship, they know the specifications of our pack. And they work to make sure the specifications are met. We're really the ambassadors for the company. For the eyes and ears, so we know what is out there and we can update further. Uh, In-house, we develop an app for the inspector's use. Uh, it's be used in the field. It includes pictures and videos, short video clips that we use to show quality. And we can relay that to our sales real time and update them on anything that we're seeing out in the field. In the plant, when we visit our facilities, we wash our hands before we enter, just like all the employees. We get our smocks and our gloves on uh, and follow all good manufacturing practices. When we're inside the facilities, we're looking to make sure that our products are being run to our specifications, not only for quality, but also that they're maintaining the proper temperatures uh, throughout the entire distribution and cold chain and process of receiving, washing, cutting, and packing our products. And making sure that the staff on hand is following uh, all the good manufacturing practices and monitoring the critical control points. Geotechnology is a new technology that is used that allows members to track real time through cell towers the location and temperature of the truck and maintains the cold chain throughout the full shipment. Also members are able to check on any issues before the truck arrives to the facility. The uh, specifications we're looking at when we open up a carton or a bag are blend ratio. Uh, we're making sure that the product that we're looking at has the correct ingredients, the correct number of ingredients. Uh, obviously the color and the quality. We're actually also checking the, the weights and making sure that the weight specifications are being met as well. When we're looking at the bag, we're making sure that the traceback information here matches exactly the traceback that's on the box. This information is what allows us to trace back to the field level. And also, if there's ever customers that have questions or, or want information about this particular bag, they can send us this information and we can review shelf life retains and get back to them with the answers that they need. I don't think there's one part that's more important than the other. Uh, our main goal is to provide the best quality and the safest product to our customers. At the end of the day, we feel confident that our inspections will produce the kind of quality that our Marcon customers expect. The job isn't just quality related anymore. We are the eyes and ears of our food safety staff. We are an extra set of eyes for our suppliers. We feel confident that we're partnering with the right people that are able to give us uh, Marcon first crop quality 52 weeks out of the year. So there you have it. Marcon inspectors are a big part of the value we offer. The relationships they cultivate with growers and harvesting managers enables us to select the best part of every field and the information they provide you helps separate Marcon from the rest. Hi, this is John Galvis from Marcon here in Oxnard, California, where we received another inch or so of rain over the last couple of days. Had a light sprinkle again this morning that's since let up, but um, you know, the, the crews, the growers down here, they just can't get a break. It's raining significantly almost every five to 10 days, so the berries really can't, they, they don't have time to recover. There's not enough warm and dry weather. Uh, so we're, caught, we're seeing significant damage that the crews have to cull through and avoid. Uh, there is still some good fruit out here and the crews are doing their best. It's slow going to try to find you know, the nice, nice berries that don't have much water damage on them. We will see some white shoulders because 
you kind of have to sacrifice a little bit of color sometimes they're, they're picking ahead before the rain has a chance to damage some of these berries um, they're also going to try to avoid as much of that water damage as possible uh, because there is a lot of it out here some maybe some dirt mud as well uh, that's all due to the rain that we've had we're expecting more rain later this week and next week it's been a struggle uh, to try to fill orders for the Valentine's Day demand out here on the West Coast, but they're doing everything they can, and uh, we just have to keep an eye on things and see what the next uh, few storms do. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi, this is Leanna Kelly with Marcon, and we're in Salinas, California, where we've received a record number of rain events this winter. In February alone, we've received four inches of rain half of which came to us this past Monday. As you can see, the majority of the fields in Salinas are fallow. However, growers are diligently monitoring their land to identify any flooding of the fields. Flooding as defined from a food safety standpoint is water infiltrating the field from an uncontrolled source, for example, from an overflowing drainage ditch or river. We have another storm headed our way this Friday, so growers will be out and about diligently monitoring conditions to make sure any flooding events are notified. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Tim York with Marcon, and I'm down here in Yuma, Arizona, where the lettuce harvest is still taking place. We're typically down here till about the middle of March, then we'll move over to the central San Joaquin Valley and transition back to Salinas about April 15th. Tax day is how we monitor that. You can see what a beautiful day it is down here. We've had a lot of rain down here, uh, and I say a lot, it doesn't take much rain in the desert to be a, be a problem, but you can see this beautiful crop. I'm holding a, a head of romaine here. Uh, the desert is known for this big, tall, beautiful romaine like this. It's just absolutely gorgeous product. Next to us is a green leaf field uh, that's already been harvested, some red leaf, and then some lettuces beyond. But you, again, you can see what a beautiful day it is down here. And we're really harvesting some beautiful product we're really uh, proud of. And uh, we just wanted to show it to you and uh, let you see uh, what great product we're packing today. Hope you'll buy some Marcon First Crop. Thanks. Healthy and nutritional meals are what more people are looking for these days when they go out to eat. And a nice fresh salad will usually fit the bill. So give your customers something that's packed with nutrition and something that's unique as well. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling, member chef with Mark on Produce, and I'd like to tell you about a new product we've just developed. It's called the Urban Blend. This nutrient-rich mixture of greens is a combination of baby red chard, wild arugula and baby kale. You get all the nutritional value of the chard and kale with a little bit of a spicy kick from the arugula. The Urban Blend Salad is a versatile product that you can use as a base to construct your own unique signature salad by adding toppings and dressings like avocados, sliced fruit, grated beets, garbanzo beans, and hard cheeses. Or it's also perfect for a saute or a stir fry on its own or blended with other ingredients like garlic, mushrooms, and onions, and used as a side dish. Let's take a look at a couple of quick examples of how this highly adaptable product can be used. Okay, I'm gonna start here. We have one of my favorite salads to make. It's called the Harvest Salad, where typically in the past, I would have to buy four different types of greens, but now I have it all in the Urban Blend. So I just take the Urban Blend, toss it with a little bit of sliced Granny Smith apples, golden raisins, blue cheese, tomatoes, and onions in a light vinaigrette. Now also keep in mind, this is very cost effective. I really only need about an ounce and a half of the Urban Blend to make a nice salad here. Next, to zest up your typical burger, instead of using iceberg or green leaf, why not try the Urban Blend on top? It creates a little bit of volume and gives a nice spicy kick to your burger. Lastly, I always like to top arugula on my flatbreads and pizzas with a little bit of balsamic in some extra virgin olive oil, but now I can actually use the Urban Blend while I'll have not only the arugula, but the kale and the red chard. Like all of Marcon's Ready, Set, Serve products, 
the Urban Blend Salad is ready to use right out of the bag. It's economical because we've done all the prep work for you and it's a 100% usable product, there's no waste. It comes in two two pound bags in a case and is fully covered by our five star food safety program. The highest in the industry. Each case and bag has a best if used by date and is fully traceable right back to the field. The Urban Blend Salad, it's nutritional, it's different, and it's only from Marcon. I'm Chef Michael, and I thank you for supporting Marcon Produce. Hi, I'm Joe Angie with Marcon. Uh, today we're here in Immokalee, Florida in a green bell pepper field. And one of the unique things about green bell peppers is you can go through and harvest multiple times. Uh, here in this field, um, this is the, the first time they've been in the field. They consider it the crown pick. And as you can see down on the plant, the pepper, the first time as it goes through the field, is going to be a little bit larger, um, thicker walls, and just really excellent shelf life. Uh, one of the unique things about uh, this field also is the wind breaks. As you can see on either side of the field, that keeps the wind from uh, hitting the bell pepper and causing scarring and that, that sort of thing. Uh, behind me, the harvest is going on. And uh, from here, what they'll do is they'll pick the peppers, put them into bushels and bring them into the packing facility where they're graded, packed and uh, sorted into Marcon brand. And from there on to the Marcon uh, distributors and operators. Uh, they'll be harvesting in this area for about another month or so in this field and then moving up uh, by the beginning of April into central northern Florida uh, and on through the state. Uh, quality is excellent right now and now is a great time to promote Marcon bell peppers. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Ismael Rios with Marcon. We're down here in uh, Huron, California, where last week we started packing limited supplies of uh, romaine and green leaf items. This week will be a bigger week for us since we will have uh, most shippers transitioning out of the desert and making their way down to the Huron and Salinas Valley. Uh, quality, has been, quality has been less than ideal down in this area. We've had a number of uh, frost and rain events. As you can see, we're seeing some epidermal peel down here. Um, these issues are mostly being trimmed, trimmed down at the field, but the biggest issue we're seeing down here is the insect, as you can see down here, closer to the heart. Uh, these insects are closer, closer to the heart and near the base, which will make it hard for the crews to re fully remove, as you can see down here. We're seeing a uh, similar similar insect issues with this uh, with these uh, green leaf items also insects down at the base which are fairly hard to remove I wanted to remind uh, the end users that these items are field packed items and not ready to serve so we would just recommend that the end user does uh, cut higher at the base to try to minimize the insects and rinse thoroughly please stay tuned for any further updates thanks for watching Hi, this is John Galvez from Marcon here in Salinas, California. In today's update, we want to show another example of why we walk fields as thoroughly as we do from one corner to another. This field of romaine has two different varieties here that have reacted differently to the weather that we've had. Uh, still some volatile weather. We've had some rain in April uh, and more recently some heat spikes. And this darker variety romaine is burning up. It's more sensitive to, uh, to heat. So you can see some of that internal burn that's in several of these heads in this darker variety. But luckily we have this other variety here, this lighter variety that isn't as um, sensitive to the heat internally. There's great quality. It does have some mildew pressure. It's been a little bit muggy. So this one's more sensitive to things like mildew, but it's large enough that we're able to trim off those outer leaves that have the damage and maintain some really nice quality inside, which is this is what we want to see is that internal yield that uh, is going to make a lot of salads for you. So just another example of why we walk fields the way we do. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Marcon's newest product, Kali Creations, comes packed to you in six one pound bags and the applications are endless. 100% usable product eliminates all the labor and you can create whatever you want with this great new product from Marcon. One of the things that I really like about it is that the applications are endless and we can start today by using this raw product. I put it into the oven and roasted it with a little bit of smoked Gouda cheese and some sweet jalapenos. We're gonna spread this out kind of like risotto meets grits and you've got yourself a Southwest dish that is to die for. What I'm topping it with today is a nice sauteed shrimp and a honey pepper sauce. A little bit of honey and red pepper flakes goes over the top of it, 
nice flavor. One of the other things that I really like about this product is the fact that you can create your own flavor. If you're in an Asian restaurant, there's all kinds of applications. If you're in a Hispanic restaurant, you have the same ideals. The, the fact is that it goes on and on forever. You can boil this, you can saute it, you can roast it like I did. It goes on top of salads. The, the application is totally up to you and the flavor profile is totally up to you. One of the great things about cauliflower is you're able to create whatever flavor you want by just adding simple things like garlic, red pepper flakes, it's endless. Mix it with some other vegetables and you have yourself a nice stir fry. This is one of the best products that Marcon's ever put out. I encourage you to try the Marcon Cauli Creations today. Enjoy. Hi, this is John Galvez from Arcon in Santa Maria, California today where we've had several days of very high winds and that's causing some problems here with the strawberries in this area. You can see how these leaves are kind of beaten up from the, the high winds that we've had, but it also damages the fruit as these leaves are just being battered uh, by the winds. They're scarring the fruit pretty bad. There's several examples of it here of berries at various stages of, uh, of ripeness. We've set aside a few more here. You can see there's going to be the green fruit that wouldn't be ready for another you know, week or two uh, to other berries that are already ripe and are showing a lot of damage. So uh, this is going to be tough to avoid for the harvesting crews. And for that reason, we're most likely going to be switching into our mark on best available. They're going to do everything they can to avoid the heavily damaged berries, but there's just a lot of fruit that's been uh, beat up by the winds that were in excess of 30 or 40 miles an hour. So. Want to let you know what we're seeing here in this area. We'll be uh, reporting more from the Salinas and Watsonville area soon. So keep your eyes out for those updates. Thanks for watching. Whether it's Marcon Essentials, Ready, Set, Serve, or Marcon First Crop. You can have confidence that every case you purchase has met or exceeded unparalleled standards through Marcon's five-star food safety program. On a daily basis, our pre-harvest inspections allow us to monitor field conditions and make certain they're free of any potential safety hazards. Plus, it allows us to monitor the harvesting process. Our boots in the field and traceback system are the key to ensuring produce is being harvested to our high standards. Our inspectors continue their reviews inside the packing and shipping facilities so our customers can be confident that our products are being handled to mark on specifications throughout the entire supply chain. From receiving, to washing, and cutting, and the packaging of our products, Marcon inspectors work closely with the staff on hand to confirm they are following the best manufacturing practices and monitoring all the critical control points. Our Geo Temp Tail technology allows members to track the location and temperature of the truck in real time. That means they can review and correct any issues while in transit. Once Marcon fresh fruits and vegetables are delivered to our members' warehouses, it allows us one more opportunity to make sure that all five-star food safety measures are in place. Third-party audits are standard procedures at all locations, and our member distribution centers are constantly monitoring warehouse temperature zones to ensure that the cold chain is maintained. Finally, the fifth star of the Marcon food safety program takes place in the operator kitchen. Ready, Set, Serve products are stamped with best of use by dates, both on the outside of the case and inside on the bags themselves. Cooler icons are also printed directly on the boxes to easily identify where the product should be stored within the cooler, strengthening shelf life and maintaining quality for our operator customers. The Final Star provides educational resources for kitchen operators, including the benefits of our five-star food safety program. Plus, our Produce app brings you access to product information, live video updates, and real-time food safety alerts, all at the touch of your fingertip. From the farmer's fields to our customer's table, we ensure confidence in every case. The Marcon name stands for quality, safety, and great tasting products. 
and it's our five-star food safety program that makes it all possible.